Hello, welcome to this lesson of Mastering Statistics. Here we're going to apply the Central Limit Theorem to the concept of a population proportion. And so I need to explain some concepts in the beginning here to tie it together with what you already know about the Central Limit Theorem. And then we're going to work a few problems to give you some practice. I think you'll see immediately how this type of problem that we're going to do is something that you've actually seen all the time in statistical uh, uh, ideas on television or surveys or things of that nature. So first we need to do a couple of definitions. First let's talk about a proportion, a concept of a proportion. When you're talking about a proportion in statistics is a little bit different than when we talk about a proportion in basic mathematics. So just forget about what you already think you know about the idea of a proportion. In statistics the idea of a proportion is a very um, specific thing and specifically there's a population proportion um, so I'm going to call it population pro poor shun, right? And the easiest way, there's a bunch of different definitions, but in my little definition, it's the percentage of a population that, that has a characteristic. All right, that's kind of a weird, nebulous definition, but it's very simple when I give you a, a, an example. So for instance, now, now remember, we're talking about population proportion. So whatever population you're studying, which is a large collection of people or things, a population proportion might be, for instance, 97% of all people carry cell phones. That is a population proportion. The proportion would be the 97% of all the people, uh, all the people meaning the everybody in your population. So that when you see a percentage, um, it's definitely going to be referring to uh, what we call a proportion. You know it's a population proportion because it's referring to all people. In that case, a very large group of people. Or you could say another uh, population proportion would be one-tenth of kids brush their teeth. Hopefully it's actually better than that. I mean I'm just making these numbers up. But the idea is the population that you're talking about would be all kids. The proportion would be one-tenth. So when you're dealing with proportion you can have a percentage in there that's representing some fraction of the population. You could actually have it written as a fraction which obviously represents a fraction of the population. Or you could have it written as a decimal. We could say 0.35 of the population of kids, that's representing the same thing as, as these fractions or these percentages. Typically in a statistics course you're going to see it represented as a percentage, almost always. But just keep in mind that it's basically, you're, you're denoting a fraction of the population, we call it a proportion of the population, 